All right, everyone. So just want to show you guys what I've done replacing these fake wires with real ones. Now I apologize. I didn't make a video during the process of doing it strictly because of time and because I don't have anything to hold the camera while I do it. And these were such a pain in the butt. I just wanted to do it, get it done and just follow up on it afterwards. But I'm very excited on how it turned out. Um, so as you guys know, I cut off and pulled out all the fake ones, all that rubber wire, rubbery, whatever the hell it was. And it left huge indentions. They're like big cutouts to where those fake rubber wires were. And I was hoping that these wires would cover them right up and they did. You can't even tell they're there. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so I cut those out and then bought this wire. Okay, I bought this wire online. When I bought it online, it looked like the correct color. It was more brown, um, more brown, copperish looking. And it came light tan like this. So I didn't feel like ordering more or heading out to the store because I live like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's just like an hour drive or anything. So I just spray painted them. Um, I had some brown paint and I just spray painted all the wires. Now, putting on the wires, you can tell a lot of that paint rubbed off. So I'm either going to leave it like that because, to be honest with you, I kind of like it. I kind of like that look. But if I decide to, all I got to do is put some, um, some black, you know, some weathering over that part. Um, which I'll probably do. But um, so that's not a big deal to me at all. So... All right, so this is what I used. I used this wiring that I got on, on Amazon. Um, it is 16 gauge and it's like just automotive wire or whatever. I will try to put it in the description, but honestly guys, just go buy some, you know, I'm not even gonna put it in the description because this isn't gonna do any good. Just get some black electric wire at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever you have around your, your house there. So these are the thermals that I used ring thermal four to six studs 16 14 ring thermal okay and and then obviously this is 16 gauge wire so get 16 gauge wire uh 10 ring thermals four six stud you can you can see everything there this is you can get this at any hardware store well i got this at lowe's i get all my stuff usually at lowe's or home depot um and then for the screws the bolts on the inside I use these socket cap screws, number six, dash 32 times seven sixteenth inch. All right. Now, I don't know if these are the, all the correct sizes. I think, I mean, it looks pretty good. If anything, they might be one size too big. But I don't, I think they're right. I think they're good. I think, I think this might be the right one they use. I, I just go off, I just go off looks. I just do my best. I look at pictures and I do my best to calculate the size of stuff. So anyways, these are the bolts I use here. These are the thermals I used. Okay. I also use this copper uh, foil tape that I got off Amazon to cover them with. And as you can see, some of them are missing because in the movie, some of them are missing as well. So I kind of just did that. Now, I was going to make all these exactly the same as the movie, but there's like two packs they used, and both of them look different. So I kind of just went off of one pack. Um, they have two hero packs, I believe, maybe even more, but I, I know for sure they used two. Uh, Phoebe in the movie used two. Um, anyways, it doesn't have to be exact. This is such a mesh of stuff that, to me, it's not that big a deal. Um also, I use these clamps here. I got these off of eBay. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but I'll try to leave the uh, description. In the description, I'll leave the link to these. But you use these throughout. I tried to put those where they are in the movie reference fo photos. Um, yeah, and then as you can tell, I sprayed... 
Uh, just got the cheapest black hairspray that I can find. And I'm going to be doing a lot of, more of this over the whole pack later. But uh, I just wanted to give a go on this real quick. And you just very, very quickly, quick little sprays here and there. And the cool thing about this is if you overspray or you get it on something you don't want or it's too much, if you if you wipe it off quickly enough, you can wipe it right off. Um, it's a little harder if you if you wait. And I'm sure there's some kind of liquid you can use. I, I don't, I'm no professional here. I literally, I literally, like when people ask me what's the size of this and this and what did you do with that? Like I literally just look at pictures and I do my absolute best to try to get the right stuff and the right size stuff. And I just figure it out. I just keep figuring out until it works. So uh, I'm definitely no expert at doing this. I just keep trying things until it looks right, looks good and, and, and works. So um, up here, okay, so there's two huge holes where you pull out the fake ones up here. And I honestly didn't know what to do. So I bought, well, no, actually I already had, I already had these. I had these much bigger uh, thermal rings, but they're still for 16 um, gauge wires. So what I did is I tore off the rubber part. Okay, so this is this is this is this is how I do things, guys. That's this is this is why I'm not a professional. I do whatever works. Whatever works, I do it. So what I did was I took this excess tubing that I had. All right. And I put the screw inside the tubing, cut the tubing to fit exactly in these holes. And then, and then put, and then connected, you know, the wires to the thermal rings. So I got the wires going through the big one and the small thermal ring. I got the screw going through the tubing. And then I just put a dab of super glue on the rings um, to really hold them down. So that's how I, that's how I fix that problem. So obviously I'm sure there's a much more professional, better way of doing that. But that's how I did it. And it works. Uh, not 100% movie accurate, but it is what it is. And I'm, I'm happy with it. So um, that's what's cool about doing Ghostbuster stuff is it's just four scientists that use what they can to throw shit together. And that's why no matter what you do to your pack, you're doing the same thing. So, so I'm happy with the wires. Like I, get, like I said, sorry I couldn't make like a in-progress video. But very happy how they turned out. Um, all I got left, guys, is waiting for the real iron arm here. Waiting for one brass fitting here that comes with the iron arm. Ion. I keep saying iron. Ion arm. Ion arm. Brass fitting. Waiting for that. Uh, got my real resistors. You guys all know that. Real tube. I got, you know, I got all real hardware now. All real hardware. Last thing I got to do is iron, ion arm. And I got to do this blue tube coming down to here. Um, still got the fake one here, but I have to buy, um, I have to buy this fitting here and that one there. So I can put that together here. Um, and that's it. I think that's it. After I get this blue on hooked up and the new ion arm, um, I believe I'm done. Like I said, this ribbon's staying for now. I'm, I will, as soon as I get a hold of a real GB1 ribbon, I will be um, swapping that out. But other than that, all I got to do is put the blue holes on, new, uh, real iron arm, weather the whole pack, and then I'm going to create a motherboard to put on the back of this. And... That's it. Oh, still need to get a, a new V-hook too, but that's no big deal. Um, that's it, guys. I have all real hardware. Oh, and waiting for the metallic labels to come still. For I got this metallic label, this one up top, this one here, this one here. Um, I think maybe that one too. Um, yeah. So, almost done. I'm happy with uh, how it looks. I definitely, when I was first doing these wires, I was like, uh, I started regretting taking off the old ones. But now that I, I figured it out and I got it done, 
and I threw a little bit of weathering on it, it looks really, really cool. So again, still got to weather this. I got a lot, you know, I haven't done any weathering on anything else. So the weathering is going to hopefully really bring everything together and really bring it to life because it's going to get rid of all the plastic look and the plasticky feeling and it's going to be cool. I want people, my goal is when friends or family come over for me to, to trick them and say, oh yeah, I actually spent a shitload of money and bought a screen used pack. And I want them, I want this to look and feel so real that they actually will believe it for a second. <laughs> so that's my goal. Anyway. All right. Thanks guys. Um, for everything. Um, I don't do this channel for money. I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about subscribers. I mean, thank you so much. If you if you did subscribe, thank you. I really appreciate it, but I'm not like out to make money or anything or, or get a thousand million subscribers. Just trying to help people out with their packs uh, if they want it. And uh, just being a part of the Go Special community because it's a, it's a sweet community. Most people are very generous and nice. And um, you know, I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so just thanks, thanks for everything. Uh, if you're watching this video and it's the first video you've seen of me, um, I have posted it throughout this whole process of upgrading this pack, modifying it, um, many videos prior to this on certain things that I did. So check those out. And yeah, if you have any questions on how I did these wires, um, still just send me a, a comment and I'll help you out as much as I can. All right. Thanks, guys. And I will get with you later.